by far the best AI photo editor is out and it's free. Google released Nano Banana and I took this picture of me and I turned it into this and this and even this. <laughs> They're wigs. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did that and six other ways of how it can help you for content creation. And if you wait to the end, I'm gonna show you how I turned the photo into an AI video just like this. So let's jump into how to use Nano Banana. Now to get to Nano Banana, you can use it inside of Gemini, gemini.google.com, or even Google's AI Studio. I find it simpler in just using it inside of Gemini. So we're gonna stick with Gemini. So remember that picture of me in a banana? So I uploaded a picture of me inside of Gemini and all I said was add a banana suit on me. In seconds, it creates the image and you could just continue to add on to it. This time I said, now have me in a chicken costume. It put me in a chicken costume. Shoot, even turned me into Batman and it made me into Batman. I'm vengeance. Now I did tell it to turn me into a Jamaican beef patty and it made me look more like an empanada, but that's neither here nor there. It still turned me into something. Now let's get a little bit serious. How can we use Nano Banana for our products and to make different assets that actually stand out? Now you know I have the Lion OG hat that'll get you inside a lion's behavior. I told Google Gemini, hey, can you create this hat in a trendy flat lay? And it actually created, now, this is probably more for males, but it created a fat lay and it did the hat perfectly. Now I wanted to do something cooler than that. So I put, can you create this hat on a ledge of a building with the New York skyline in the background? And it created this. One to 10, what do you think about this? I also told it to display the hat with a neon sign. And this is what it came up with. Now it just has the light kind of floating. So what I told it was just the sign and the hat and it created this vibe. I kind of like it. What do you think about it? Now having it displayed is one thing, but how does it look on an actual person? Let's test that out. And if you haven't noticed, I'm using very simple prompts, nothing really complicated and it's creating really dope images. So for this test, I have it. Can you have a black female wear the hat and them looking down to display the hat in the streets of New York. And this is what it came up with. The details are fire, the hat is fire, but I actually wanted it to be a little bit closer. So I simply said, can you zoom in more in her face to show the hat? And that's fire. I'm not gonna lie, that really impressed me. But of course it's up to you. What do you think about the person and the hat? Let me know in the comments. Now enough with products, can it help us with our YouTube thumbnails? Let's try it out. So I saw this really dope YouTube thumbnail that I wanted to try to recreate. So I put it in Google Gemini and I said, can you replace the girl with the glasses uh, with the girl in the hat? I put a picture of me and it did a great job. Now, what I did have to do is remove this extra hand and change the color of the sticky notes and change the icons to truly recreate it. And this is what it came up with. I changed the text, the images, and the color of the sticky notes, and you let me know what you think about this. Now, quick bonus tip. If you've noticed, these images are a little bit low quality, so I suggest that you put in an AI image enhancer. You can find one in Canva if you use Canva, and it comes out fire, so just quick tip. Now, this is great for taking thumbnails that inspire you and recreating it inside of your own niche. Now, disclaimer. I'm not saying just do a face swap and that is it. Please change parts of the thumbnail so it could be shown more as you than a direct copy. Now, another fun way of using Nano Banana is putting you in the cover of a magazine and a magazine that you just randomly created. So I put a picture of me and I said, create a magazine cover that's called Creator, make this a person in the photo, the person on the cover, and have the bottom title, say the creator making AI easy. And this is what it created. Not gonna lie, it's not that great, but it's not that bad. With some tweaks, I could probably use it for content. So let's talk about flyers and promo assets. So there's a flyer that I saw that I liked, this anchor one, and now I just want to just put myself on it. And so this is what I did. I uploaded the flyer and I uploaded a picture of myself. I said, hey, oh, can you replace the man on the flyer with the female on stage? And this is what it came up with. I think it did a decent job. It removed the guy, removed the name. I can add my name if I wanted to, but now I have a whole flyer. 
Now, one thing I didn't like is that it didn't really keep the texture. Like if you saw Jamal was all in blue and then it put me in color, but that's probably just me getting more detailed with the prompt. So that was a little drawback, but overall I think it did great. Now, how does it do with background swaps? So once again, I uploaded a picture of me and I said, change my background and have me sit in the back seat of a Maybach. Let's flex one time. Let's see how it did. Low key, that's not bad. You could tell that it's the AI, but for the simple fact that it took me from here to then inside of a Maybach and didn't really change much of me, I give it a good solid eight. Now, I don't know what's that towel on, on my lap, but that's neither here nor there. Now, I even told it to have me in a roller coaster. Now, this looked a little bit unnatural, but I still like it. I can still use it for content. Now, let's do a quick clothes swap. So I got this picture of me and I have this picture of the global brand hoodie. And I simply said, have me in this hoodie. And it did. Now here's a more practical one for me where I have this old YouTube thumbnail that I may want to upgrade with that global branding hoodie. And so I put it into Google Gemini and simply just say, can you have me in this hoodie? And it put me in this hoodie. Now, the only problem that I have, it looks a little bit unnatural, Plus it didn't really give me the YouTube thumbnail feel. It just cut to the part of just me and the hoodie. So that's still something that I have to figure out. So I would probably give this more of like a six than anything. Now, one of the best parts of Nano Banana that I kind of kept for last is the character consistency. If you created an image or you have an image from another place, if you put it inside of Nano Banana, it's going to keep that look. And that is very hard for most parts. So let me show you. So I created this really cute character of myself at InvestFest. Now I was in a pink tracksuit. I said, just put me in a blue tracksuit. And it did that. Now I said, can you have her in a desk writing and remove the mic and the glasses? And it kept the same character, just remove the items and put it in the action that I wanted it to do. In real life, how I use this is for my Instagram carousels. I've been using this character to tell more of a story inside of Instagram than just regular one-off pictures. So this is gonna be really good from a creative standpoint of AI storytelling for you. Even this one, I made it into a carousel, used the image, but then I also turned it into a video and I used Google VO3. Now that's not the bonus, I'm gonna show you a different way, but I did create a video of how to turn an image into a video like this using Google VO3 and that'll pop up on the screen as well. So remember in the beginning, I told you I would show you how I turned two photos that I made in Nano Banana and turned it into a video. Let me show you how I did that. So my secret weapon isn't Google's VO3, it's actually Kling, and Kling is really easy. So what I did was upload the two pictures, you see the banana and you see the chicken, right? And all I did was generate it. The good thing is that you can make it into five seconds or 10 seconds, and you generate it and it creates this. I even did one of me grabbing the banana suit and putting it on me. So here's a bonus tip to make the video even more dynamic. You can even add your own prompt to it to tell it exactly what the video should be doing. Cause if you just hit generate, you're leaving it to whatever the AI is going to do. So to have a little bit more control, add a prompt to it. So in a more realistic way, you're not gonna turn yourself, let's say into a banana or a chicken, or maybe you will. But here's an example of what I use where this is more of a storytelling where I used the character that I had a picture of it in the park to then it's sitting in the living room. And so I just put it together using Kling to tell the story. Now, what you could do with Nano Banana is endless, but these were the immediate ways that I saw from a content creation standpoint that you can use it. And remember, this tool is free. I think low key Google is trying to be a serious contender being in this AI game. They were a little behind, but now, yeah, I don't think they could be messed with, but let me know which situation are you going to be using? I personally like the product one, but let me know what you like in the comments. Now, though I talked about Google being great from the editing side, I gotta give you another tool from the image generation side because Google isn't still up there with image generation. So check out this next video to make really great AI images.